welcome back to my channel today is exciting i know that i've disappeared on you guys and fancy meeting you back in my bathroom i have been working incredibly hard on some projects I will tell you more about them very very soon especially in the new year coming it's kind of just required all of my attention time and effort which kind of delayed my videos but don't worry i have all this content still coming for you guys so if you haven't read today's title um i'm going to be doing a get ready with me I kind of show you guys how I do my makeup. I think I'm gonna be a little dramatic today, maybe, I don't know. I am doing a photo shoot today for another project. I'm going to be filming and bringing my camera, but I'm not gonna bring you guys today. I am gonna get the content, however. And I'm actually running a little late, so we need to get going, because I also need to do my hair. Today's video is a quick get ready with me to show you guys how I do my makeup, what products I use. And actually, you guys, I am going to be posting a video if you guys wanna know more about my curly hair journey. I'm gonna be answering some questions, some really good common questions that I feel like I wish I would've known. I will definitely post that video this week. If you guys want to see how I do my makeup, then stay tuned. Two hours later. I'm sure that you guys have seen this in my previous video if you haven't seen it. I am totally obsessed with Fenty Skin. Um, I still have been using it. It's pretty much like my everyday skincare routine. So if you want a really good makeup look, you have to practice good skincare routine because it's just not going to work. Okay. Literally, you guys, you don't even need a lot. Like, you don't even, I don't even need that much. like to get in my nose I don't know if you're supposed to do this but I have a ton of blackheads on my nose whiteheads it actually quite pisses me off but what are you gonna do my skin is just really sensitive anytime I touch my skin at all it gets red before I keep going, I need to put something in my hair because it will dry. Guys, I've been really obsessed with this Camille Rose, like Honey Hydrate uh, leave-in conditioner. It has every natural oils in the world. It literally feels just like honey. It is like the most amazing moisturizing product for my hair that I've had in such a long time. I usually put this on in the shower right before I get out. Right after my conditioner, I just add this. And then you can style your hair with any particular styling product that you have right after this. Guys, this is me in a rush doing my hair, by the way. Normally, I would part my hair and do all this extra stuff, but don't nobody got time for that right now. I just wanted to throw a little something in my hair right now, so while I do my makeup, it's not like looking crazy. The next product that I use right after the Total Cleanser is the Fat Water. This is so good for your pores. It's so hydrating. It actually dries pretty quickly as well. All of these Fenty Skin products smell so good, you guys. And I have sensitive skin. I'm really proud of how my skin has reacted to this. Gotta say, I'm proud. All right, so we use the fat water. So now I'm gonna put on some SPF. Well, if you're gonna be out all day, you should always apply SPF. Um, and it's just become a routine for me. I have the Hydra Visor from Fenty Skin. You actually don't need a lot. Like this is probably a lot for me, but it's okay. And now your skin is totally ready for some makeup. Hopefully the SPF, the Hydra Visor is probably one of the last things that I put on my face before applying any kind of foundation. We oh now that my face is glowing and ready to go by the way how bomb on my nails my nails are so freaking cute they are this is like my favorite set and then this one breaks Bruh. two days later like story of my life but this is like my one of my favorite sets they are so freaking pretty my hair is kind of starting to piss me off i'm gonna try to like tie this up a little bit it's probably what you shouldn't do but don't listen to me right now Okay, perfect. I like my hair out of my face when I do my makeup so I could get all of this. And another thing, first of all, I have a five head, so do not judge me. But I always go like this and I'm getting freaking wrinkles. When applying your foundation, I try so hard not to make these facial expressions because 
then your foundation ends up these lines on my forehead i went shopping and i got a couple of things that i really needed normally applying my foundation honestly i just do it with my hand i still use the brushes and beauty blenders but there's certain things that I just prefer to apply with my hands. So this is the Fenty Beauty 320 Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I had it for a couple of months. I think the beginning of the summer. I am the type of person to pretty much always do like a quick everyday look for makeup. So I don't wear tons and tons of makeup. Um, I could totally live with like concealer, mascara, and like my eyebrow pencil because I need my eyebrows Damn! on all the time. Um, Speaking of eyebrows, your girl's getting real tired of doing these eyebrows. Like I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed, but first I'm going to get them tinted and laminated, which is one of the things that I will be doing for my spend the day with me video. So stay tuned to that if you guys want to see that. And if I have the opportunity to just not do it and just wake up and my brows are done, like how bomb would life be? Okay. I'm going to use the brow definer from Anastasia. This one I actually just started using. Medium brown, I believe this is. Oh, it's actually dark brown. So normally what I do, and eyebrows take forever, you guys. They take forever. Normally what I do, I like to shape the eyebrow first. So I always come from the bottom into the middle and I just follow the line. I just follow my hairs and the shape of the brow just like this. I try to focus more on the structure of the eyebrow on just kind of getting that down and then I fill. But I always start with the end of my eyebrow first I just can kind of get that shape going and then i come to the front here very lightly i never like the center of my brow to be like a perfect square so when i get to this part i kind of just get a little sloppy with it and bada bing bada boom we got an eyebrow i usually do my eyes my brows and then i finish off my face like how time consuming is this you know to get a nice brow, you guys, this is work. I try to get my brows as even as possible. This is the best it's gonna get right now. Alright, you guys. As long as you have the main structure of the brow and you have it filled in, we good. Let's move on. They're not finished, but we're going to leave them like this for right now. Let's work on concealer. So I have the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And this is the Toasted Almond color. Put on this concealer. Now when it comes to concealer, I like to put it under my eyes because I don't sleep. And I have bags under my eyes. So I like to apply under the eyes and in the eyeshadow lid i just feel like when you put concealer on there it normally just perfects the look of everything apply that up there we are going to use our beauty blender to blend this in to be honest low key i could honestly do it with my fingers but I am going to do it with my beauty blender I always put foundation on my lips you guys I don't know why 
put the foundation for my eyes I also have the Huda Beauty I love her products I really really do I got the sand haze eyeshadow palette look how freaking pretty neutral colors most of them are like neutral colors but then we have a little vibrant like these which is great I feel like this is perfect this is what I need for my, like my everyday look I think I'm going to do this color right here to do the crease I always like to pick a light color for the entire lid of my eyes and just apply a nice base and I did not clean this brush note to self I did not clean this brush so I have a little residue from the previous color but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side and just apply nice coverage Okay. Now what I'm going to do is pick, now I'm going to do this shade of pink over here, this like light pinkish. This pink, light pink color kind of gives it a really cute natural look that's not yellow. Doesn't give you that yellow undertone like the first base color that I applied on my lid. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this color, mauve. Is it mauve or mauve? Mauve? I don't know. Oh, so freaking pretty. The pigmentation on this, though. Look how freaking pretty. I'm just gonna apply it all around the lid. And do the same for the other side. Oh my god, it's so pretty! I love this color. I'm gonna kind of just blend it in a little bit. Believe in me. We're gonna have a nice pro finished product afterwards. Erica, Erica, Erica. Wait a minute. Who are you? I've got my brows done. I've got a little bit of some eyeshadow on. What I'm going to do is kind of hit this just a little bit more with a. Actually, let's do a little poppy color in the middle just to be a little extra dramatic. I am running super late. I was supposed to be done a long time ago. As I mentioned, I'm doing a photo shoot for a special project that I'm going to be sharing a lot more with you guys. I swear I have been growing so much this year in so many different ways, just able to do all the things that I've been holding myself back from. Let's do some contouring. I have the trio contour sticks from Fenty Beauty that I'm actually really enjoying right now. Hit it with the mocha. I also like to do underneath here, you guys. This helps with like the double chin. I don't know what it does, but it helps. This is such a pretty color. This is the Trippin. And I just like to put this one over here on my cheekbones. I go in with the bamboo. And I kind of just go in a little bit in the places that I applied concealer. I got a big forehead, so it's always good to put a little bit of bronzer or contour stick. Now 
Now I look like a coloring board. Bruh. The things women have to go through, guys, I swear. So personally, I don't like my contour for my nose to be like super dramatic. I like just subtle, subtle. The shoot that I'm doing today is like a really fun shoot. It's nothing crazy, uh, but it's really fun. It's a me kind of photo shoot. I encourage all you guys, we're all going through trying times especially right now in, in this pandemic, but I encourage you guys to keep persevering. One door shuts, open all those 10 doors. Like there's a new year coming and I don't want to sound cliche, new year, new me, but it's new year, new goals and new strategies and new ways on how to move. And you guys, whatever you're going through, bad times don't last forever. Keep pushing through it. Don't give up on yourself. Work hard, work really hard. Don't use one beauty blender for everything. And I don't, like I said, I usually normally use my hands. And don't do your makeup when you're rushing. Actually, sometimes I do have better days when I rush. I have been, you know, just setting my 2021 goals, focusing on one thing at a time, focusing on educating myself, staying, stay educated, like keep reading, stay tuned with what's going on in the world, but don't drown yourself with it. When you start feeling yourself, it's like, okay, all right, girl, you cute. Setting powder that I've been using is the translucent Kat Von D. I love Kat Von D. I love her full coverage foundation. I love her eyeliner, actually, her eyeliner, which we are going to use. I actually just got the legit lashes from Huda Beauty. My eyeliner first. This Kat Von D eyeliner is bomb. really simple wing something to just kind of like poke out there we're gonna leave it like this you can't tell you can't tell what else is next we need to put some lips on me so I actually do something really funny before I do my lips um, they look a little ashy right now but they're not ashy guys I put some foundation on it and some concealer but I do like to go in with some chapstick first. I ran out of my favorite lip liner. I just ordered some more, but I'm going to use my brow pencil for my lips, for the lining of my lips. I'm gonna show you. I just outlined that like outside of my lips. Now I seriously look like full Guatemalan Chapina, like straight up. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream and it's the Fenty Glow color. The, first of all, this is so cute. I'll show you guys. Lastly, we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Mascara. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like this, you guys, this is it. All right, you guys, so that is it for my get ready with me. A quick makeup look that I absolutely love. I used a little bit of Kat Von D, Huda Beauty, Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty. Um, did I miss anything? Just absolutely love all these products. It's not an everyday look for me. As I mentioned, I could literally put on concealer, a little bit of foundation, my brows, and I'm good to go. But in this particular case, I wanted to do just a little bit more so you can get an idea of what that look is for me. But this is it. I have to head to my photo shoot right now. So thanks for spending time with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you comment down below. Tell me what you guys are using. Tell me if you guys are using the same products, how you enjoy them. What are the different techniques that you guys do for your eyeliner? Like, I want to hear it all. Comment down below. Give me the scoop. And I will see you in the next video.